one. Good afternoon and welcome to the latest edition of the Marry with Children documentary, The Ladies of Marry with Children or The Girls of Marry with Children. These are actresses that have appeared in Marry with Children throughout its 11 seasons uh, in Fox TV network. It aired in the 1980s and the 1990s, all across cable uh, TV, all across America. So far, we speak to actresses throughout the, its time during the 11 seasons from all different uh, seasons. This week, we go to season three. Uh, we go to episode 14. And we and this episode, it was called A Tree Job, No Income Family. Uh, it was about uh, Peggy Bundy earning more than Al and Al having to work uh, two jobs uh, because Peggy got a cosmetic job that earned more money than Al in terms of uh, commission. One of the guest uh, actresses on that uh, episode played the character Heather, and we're delighted to be joined by Heather today, the one and only Teresa Ganzel. Uh, Teresa, uh, married with children, uh, how did it come about the opportunity to get involved in that what was probably one of the top shows in the 1980s, especially around 88 and 89 in terms of uh, cable TV, in terms of uh, an up and coming network, uh, in terms of Fox. Uh, were you scouted for your role uh, in terms of Married with Children or did you audition for your part? Uh, I auditioned for it, but um, I was uh, very good friends with one of the producers, uh, okay. Marcy Bosberg and her writing partner, uh, Sandy Sprung. Uh, Marcy okay. was originally an actress. And so I had known Marcy when she was an actress. And then she took a, a, a writing class and met another actress, Sandy Sprung. And um, they wrote a play for Cesar Romero. And okay. uh, it was, it, that, that's, that was a big hit. It, it played uh, theaters all over the country. That's how they got to uh, work as uh, television writers. And uh, so I was friends with Marcy and Sandy and they said to me, well, uh, once they started doing Married with Children, as soon as you know an episode comes up uh, that we feel that you're right for, we'll bring you in for an audition. And okay. I said, great, now here's the interesting thing because for some reason in my life, I, I, my brother was a television writer. I, I, I've been friends with a lot of TV writers. You would think when you go into audition for a friend that it would be easier, but yeah. actually it's harder. It, it's, it's kind of, I can't describe it. It's this weird sort of, it's, it's sort of awkward. So I remember being, feeling a little awkward at the audition, but obviously I guess it didn't matter because I got the job. And you mentioned, Teresa, getting the job. In terms of the uh, audition as well, in terms of reading the lines, were you given lines of the, the header character that you would have on the sort of show? Yes. Um, my memory of that is, is it was pretty verbatim. In other words, yeah. the, 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 uh, sometimes, especially in a, a sitcom with a live audience, there's a lot of line changes as it progresses. Uh, but in this particular episode, this particular show, or my character, I should say, pretty much the script I auditioned for is what ended up, you know, on the stage, uh, you know, on TV. Yeah. And Generally, we feel you are your own best advertisement. So we like our patty girls to wear our cosmetics. Would your husband have a problem wearing makeup? <laughs> <laughs> Madam, my husband sells women's shoes. Oh, well, at least that shows he'll do anything. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and after a few months of selling patty products, he'll be able to dump that day job. I dumped my day job. What was your day job? Phone sex. <laughs> you make that much? Oh, this is too good for Al. Tell me more. Well, there are the petty parties. You go to parties? That's the job. You see, you throw parties, have your friends over, then watch the products sell themselves while you just sit and do nothing. Well, I can do that. <laughs> and to think I was just giving it away. <laughs> well, what do I need to start? Just a deep and abiding belief in makeup. 
and our super deluxe petty party starter kit. <laughs> well, how much does that cost? $250. Oh, but that's just a drop in the bucket compared to your first month's commish. Well, just how much commish are we talking about? <laughs> Whoa! Will you take a check? Sure. Does it have to be good? <laughs> no! We'll just put a lien against your husband's wages. I'm in! <laughs> yes, I did get last week's commish. So, Teresa, in terms of back in the 1980s, uh, Married with Children gave its break to numerous uh, sort of young uh, actresses as such. Uh, you were sort of an established uh, actress in terms of appearing on Married with Children. You had done many work, uh, much work uh, beforehand. So, in terms of that, did you see... You were on previous sets beforehand, Ed, so you had good experience of what was a good show, what was a bad show. Yeah, um, yeah, when you right well, on Marry With Children, where you said that this is a show that could run for 11 seasons. Did you get that sort of feeling? Yeah, I, I absolutely did. Because, yeah, there are certain sets, boy, certain sitcom sets where uh, you feel that... Uh, uh, people are not getting along or there's some weak links, you know, some people that don't really have the, the comedy skills, but married with children, everybody was operating on a real high level. I mean, you've got some really great comic actors there. And also it was a happy set. I mean, it, it was a happy set. It, certainly I, I, I think with time, I think maybe as, as the years progressed, there might've been uh, some issues. But I was there uh, on that third season, and that was, you know, so it was a hit, and it it was happy, and uh, yeah, you you did feel this show is going to be around for a long time, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It was it was uh, who I really hit it off with was Katie Seagal. Um, yeah, it was Katie and I, it, it wasn't, you know, obviously that was my scene was with Katie, but also I'm talking like, you know at rehearsal, uh, in the makeup room, Katie and I just, I, I, we, we really got each other's, you know, right away we were like, oh, it, it, it felt like we were friends, you know, so she, she's just terrific and she was, uh, she was just super fun. Like, I, I feel like Katie Seagal and I, it's too bad that we never worked on anything uh, after that because I really do think she and I were a, a cute, a, a cute a friendship, you know, we really were. Yeah. Uh, here's kind of, here's a funny thing you might not know. Um, I actually did another episode of Married with Children, but voiceover only uh, in yeah. season eight, uh, an episode called Change for a Buck about Buck the Dog. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. And so Dom DeLuise did a voice of one of the dogs in the dog pound. And I did uh, a voiceover for a dog in the dog pound. So yeah, it was, uh, and Cheech Marin, of course, he was there, you know, doing Buck. Yeah. And, and so, so yeah. And, and so I actually came back and did another episode, which was uh, fun. And Amanda Burse directed mm -hmm. the episode that I did the voiceover on. And okay. yeah, and what, what was neat about that is right March, this last March, uh, Amanda and I both flew to North Carolina to, together to do uh, a stage version of the play The Odd Couple, but the female version of The Odd Couple, Amanda was playing the Oscar character uh, her kick, Olive, yeah. the, the female version, it's Olive, and I was playing Felix, the, um, and so, and what, and it was so frustrating because uh, Amanda and I were like, oh God, you know, we, we, reconnecting, we were really excited to do the play together. We started rehearsal, and after about four or five days of rehearsal, COVID hit, and the producers had to pull the plug on it, send us back on, on plays. And it was really disappointing. Thank goodness they sent us home when they did. Otherwise, you know, it, it would have, we, we got out of there just in time, you know. But I remember the difference in just five days time, you know, flying from Los Angeles to North Carolina, you saw, you know, just a couple of people in masks because this was like the first week of March. Yeah. 
and uh, five days later, so actually the, the producers sent us home and they said, fingers crossed, that once COVID is over, hopefully Amanda and I will be doing the female odd couple again, you know, fingers crossed. Those first five days of rehearsal, we had a blast, but you know, that that's showbiz, you know, so I'm really hoping I could work with her again. You know, she's, she really became a big director you know yeah, yeah. and uh, couldn't and 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 couldn't be nicer and it's sort of funny because you would think that amanda would be uh, a better cast in the the felix uh role yeah. but she wanted you know to do something different so she wanted to play the oscar character and i had recently done a play out here in los angeles uh with uh, melissa peterman who i'm sure you probably know and yeah. uh anyways the, coincidentally, the reviewers compared Melissa Peterman and I to Oscar and Felix, and the producer saw it. Anyways, it's a long story, but it just sort of shows, you know, if you stay in show business long enough, everybody sort of crosses over and, and you all end up playing with one another in, in some form, so. Yeah, I suppose, Teresa, you mentioned uh, Katie Segal there in terms of uh, uh, getting close to Katie on set and I suppose Katie had her particular sort of Peggy Bundy type costume with the sort of the big red hair and a big sort of bow like sort of Marge Simpson and the sort of Fred sort of Flintstone type sort of uh, address on her and such and uh, do, from your memories of your time being on a uh, set of Married with Children was uh, uh, Katie always dressed like that even it takes did you ever get to see her in her natural hair or was the hair always up in a bun? Yeah, actually, no, to tell you the truth, you know, uh, Katie um, in real life was a very, uh, very cool sort of rock and roll girl. You know, she's she's got that musical background. And so um, I, I thought she was very stylish in a really uh, hip rock and chick kind of way. You know, so she wasn't she wasn't the sort of she wasn't the overblown tacky uh looked like a uh, peg she was a really cool rocker chick yeah and i sp i suppose uh, Teresa, when you appeared on uh season three i suppose you we mentioned uh casey seagal and ed o'neill obviously they were the same uh generation and genre as yourself in terms of their sort of background but you also got to work with two young actors at the time in terms of christina applegate and uh david faustino and did you see something in their potential did you see something in christina we all know what christina has gone on to achieve in her career and her acting could you see that straight away from working or being around with her that christina was on to big 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 things after mary with children yeah i mean when when you see a, a really young gorgeous actress like that a, a lot of times uh, somebody is just a look they're just gorgeous and and you know that's enough but she was obviously a really good comedian i mean she was funny and and a very good actress so uh you know that's that's a, a winning combo to be that gorgeous and also that funny you know so that that's what made her so special and also that same episode uh Polly shore was in so that was that was a trip too you know because Polly was just you know starting but you know in my mind he's like oh that's the that's the son of Mitzi Shore you know I knew a lot of comics that worked at the comedy store and uh but but that was so that was really that was kind of a neat episode to, for because Polly Shore was in it too mm -hmm. and I suppose uh Teresa in terms of uh your uh character Heather as such um well, in, when you saw the scripts, what was your initial sort of, what's the initial picture in your head on, in terms of uh, what type of a character did you initially see? Oh, uh, you know, a salesperson, just somebody that was just overly upbeat. And, uh, you know, it's, it's basically, I was the Avon, the Avon lady. So, you know, just that, that overly upbeat, smiley thing. And, you know, it's basically a pyramid scheme. I mean, let's face it, those kind of makeup things. And uh, so, of course, I very much appealed to Peg when it was like, 
This is this is a job where all you have to do is throw parties. You don't have to do anything. So it was perfect. And uh, Teresa, in terms of speaking to some of the actresses, uh, they still get blown away when uh, they tell me when residuals come in their doors, door and their post box uh, for married with children, even 30 or 40 years on, because somewhere in the world it's been shown in a TV station for the first time or in, in another continent or dubbed in a different languages. And obviously those chicks uh, get smaller with the time, but it's still... Get, Start to shock you with awe. Are you accustomed to it at this stage? You're like, we open the post box and say, there's another Mary with children sort of letter coming in the doorstep. I listen, I, you, it always feels like you want, you won a scratch off ticket on the lottery. You know, it's, it's always a kick. It's always a little rush, like boom. I, uh, you know, I, I go on the Screen Actors Guild uh, website, and I can see the checks that are that are coming my way. They're they're in processing, and it's like so. It always and it always says the title and the name and the thing. And listen, no matter how small those checks get, I I still get get a tickle out of them. And and uh, yeah, so no, you know, and and. Uh, yeah, you, ne you never, you never, you never tire of those. They're always appreciated. Uh, but I don't, I don't get them in the mailbox anymore. I get direct deposit. That's direct that's deposit. New thing. Direct deposit. Yes. <laughs> And uh, Teresa, in terms of uh, Mary with children and family and loved ones and uh, nephews and nieces, uh, does it almost find them strange when someone says to you, when they hear from someone or you hear from a family friend or uh, was your aunt on Mary with children? Did your aunt appear? And you could have probably done projects where you were the feature uh, performer for the full 90 minutes and uh, sadly no one might start to remember. But Mary with children, someone might be seeing that episode and say oh is that your aunt or is that your mother or something and do you ever hear friends or saying or friends or of your of your children come to you and say listen uh ma'am one of my friends said you they saw you on tv there last night marry with children oh yes you hit the nail on the head you're, you're absolutely right um uh for instance the, my very first job on TV, the very first time, was a guest spot on Three's Company, and that shocks me too because that was that was even longer ago than Married with Children, you know. And it's amazing to me, like sometimes it can be, you know, a teenager who can see me in the supermarket and go, "Oh my God, are you greedy Gretchen?" And I'm like, it's it's it, it, it it's it's funny, you know, whether it's a relative, like you said, a niece or a nephew or something that will see an old rerun of Married with Children, or it truly can sometimes be a, a stranger. Uh, it's, it's uh, uh, again, just like, like a residual check, you never get tired of that. It's always a kick. Yeah, I, I love, I, I love getting recognized like that. And yes, oh, man, right. You, you, you're right. And I suppose, uh, Teresa, lastly, before I let you go, let's pretend the editors or directors uh, took on a project to make a Mar Married with Children encyclopedia, a dictionary as such, and they were putting all the fictional characters who have appeared in the 11 seasons into this sort of encyclopedia. And let's pretend they came to your uh, character header in season three, episode 14, and they put her into the encyclopedia and they left two blank sentences underneath her description. And they got in touch with your talent agent who got in touch with you and said, listen, Teresa, said they're doing a married children in encyclopedia. They want two sentences for, for uh, header's bio or character description. I want you to provide those two sentences having portrayed the role of Heather. Uh, Teresa Ganzel, what would you like those two sentences to read? Um, there's one thing that I have learned in life, and that is to have a deep and abiding belief in makeup. Deep and abiding belief in makeup. <laughs> Uh, Teresa Ganzel, you only need uh, one sentence. Uh, Teresa, a pleasure talking to you today to relive your memories of uh, playing Heather in season three, episode 14, Married with Children, uh, a tree job, no income family was the episode. Uh, Teresa, 
obviously you are in that fraternity of married children. You are one of the actresses that appeared in over 11 seasons. Uh, you are in an esteemed company. You're in there with the likes of Tiffany Thiessen, Pamela Anderson, Krista Allen, Denise Richards, Mila Jovic, uh, Jennifer Lines, Krista Allen, Elizabeth Kiefer. The names could keep going and going of so many world-renowned actresses and models that have appeared throughout the 11 seasons. That fraternity is closed. It's taking no more members. Uh, you're a member of that fraternity. You will always be. And for that, Teresa, a pleasure talking to you today. And we wish you a prosperous 2021. Pleasure talking to you, Jim. Take care. You too.